Hey guys, Angela here and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Tuesday. It is December 1st. It is December 1st. This year went by so fast, but also it was the longest year um, at the same time. So this is my first time vlogging anything since this past Saturday when I closed out last week's vlog or this week's vlog because it'll go out tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just have sort of been busy with obviously braiding my hair. So I braided my hair on Sunday. It took me all day because my original plan was to put just some bigger ones in there and some kind of way I ended up with a handful of them. Like, this is the most I've ever put in my own hair. So that didn't work out. Um, I'm also three days into my new skincare routine. So if you haven't already, make sure that you are watching my skincare haul. It's a drugstore slash affordable skincare haul that's up on the channel. So I'm three days in. So far, so good. I have a couple products that are my absolute fave, like right off top. Um, I haven't had any purging yet, so I don't have any like breakouts or anything like that. I have a little something here, but that's hormonal because your girl is about to start her dot. We refer to periods as dots. Um, and, oh, I'm sorry for the whatever that noise is in the background. I just, I give up. I, I give up when it comes to the noise in this apartment. Um, but probably the biggest nuisance that's going on right now is I did, as I mentioned, order a camera. I ordered the Canon PowerShot Mark. I ordered the Canon PowerShot uh, G7X Mark II. That came in the mail on yesterday. So here is the packaging that it came in. I actually got the creator's kit from Best Buy. It was on sale for like $100 off. So I think originally it's like $6.99. It was $5.99 on sale i added a couple additional things i added another memory card and then i also added what mm. and then I, <laughs> I also added um some geek squad insurance so like a year of geek squad insurance in addition to the warranty that's actually on the camera um so in all it came up to about 675 and some change after tax in the kit came the camera you got a little here i have it here got a little handheld um tripod the tripod that you see all vloggers holding their camera on so it came with that it came with an extra battery so it comes with the battery and then an extra one and then it comes with a memory card which is like 32 gigs which is hardly any space which is why i ordered one with like triple the amount of space on it so this is the camera i so far so good i like it i haven't recorded anything on it well i've attempted to record on it but i have one issue I don't know if there is something in the settings that I could do to um, correct it, but I've been on YouTube all night um, in this morning and I haven't found a fix that works. But the sound on my particular camera is muffled. It's not working. So the microphone, it's like a teeny tiny microphone up here. And for whatever reason, it's picking up my voice muffled. So I started trying to record this vlog on yesterday so i wonder if you could like hear so this is me last night trying to record the vlog and i want to see if you can hear how muffled i sound coming from this camera hey guys angela here and welcome to another weekly vlog so two new things are happening right now the volume is all the way up so i didn't do anything to to make it sound less it that's how it sounds and so I've looked up every fix and I'm not finding anything to fix it. So I don't know if I got like a defective camera or what, but I'm going to call Canon today to see if they're able to help me. And if not, then I have to go to Best Buy and get a replacement or let the Geek Squad people look at it or whatever the case may be. Anyway, I like the camera. I like that it flips up. So when I'm recording videos, I'm also going to use this to record videos in addition to vlogging for right now. I'll be able to see myself so I can make sure that I'm in frame. Um, I've gone through and put the best vlogging settings and things like that in based off of what people say on the YouTubes. So I'm already to go once I get this volume situation taken care of. So anyway, that's what's been going on with me the last few days. I'm actually sitting at my desk watching Vlogmas, like it's day one of Vlogmas. So I've been watching a lot of people Vlogmas day one videos. Um, I am also in the middle of a system upgrade. So I have a bunch of like documentation that I have to do for this new system at work. I'm just at a standstill because I sent somebody an email on yesterday for something that I need to continue my work. 
and they haven't responded back since you like two yesterday it's 10 today still haven't heard anything so i'm just kind of sitting here looking crazy so i'm gonna give him about another hour and then i'm just gonna start instant messaging him over and over and over and over again because i know you saw my email anyway i'm gonna stop talking now and i am going to probably call best buy or probably call canon and see what we could do about the sound on this beauty okay talk to you all later hey guys so it's a little later in the day i'm actually still sitting at my desk but i am vlogging from my canon g7x so i called uh canon their customer service line and the guy was basically like sis that's the mic um we've had this complaint before we've tried to rectify it with mark three blah blah blah, blah or whatever when you put it into your computer it should the the volume should adjust you should be able to hear it so I took my little HDMI from an old um, Samsung camera that I have, plugged it into my computer, and lo and behold, I could hear myself a lot better. Now, the quality isn't like the best, so I'm a little worried uh, about like sit down videos and stuff. So I went on the YouTubes to see what was the best uh, like way to get the best quality. So I'm gonna buy a couple things now, and a couple things I have saved for later because she did not budget for those so let me show y'all really quickly um the two things that i'm going to pick up today uh, well the one thing now because my little samsung adapter actually works so i'm not buying another adapter because this one works um but the one thing that i'm going to get today and then the two things that i have in my cart to budget for later also i picked a pimple so i'm just drying it out with like the mario badescu i forgot what it's called but it's like a pink drying lotion by mario badescu i always put it on whenever i have like a pimple and it dries it out pretty fast so the thing that i'm actually going to buy today is going to be this professional gray lavalier uh, lapel mic so whenever i'm doing sit down videos i could just clip it onto my shirt and plug it into my iphone and then record and so then the audio from the iphone i'll sync that and use that as opposed to the audio from the camera and again i'm going to use that mostly for when i'm doing sit down videos um but maybe also vlogging too if i'm out somewhere where it's super loud uh, i could just clip the lapel on and stick it into my iphone and then um, make sure the audio is great so i'm going to get that today and then how do i get to my safer oh yeah in the save for later cart, I have the Zoom uh, H1, Is I guess that's what you call it. But I have this because this seems to be the go-to for everyone and it'll pretty much be the same concept as the little lapel mic that I'm um, getting. The only thing is I won't have to, to um, pin it on my lapel which when i'm doing stand up like fashion -y videos i don't want to do that so this is something that i'll use i'll just sit it next to me and record with that and then this mini road mic again pretty much the same concept i can actually stick this into my phone with the like little iphone adapter and just use a little mic and it comes with the muff so when i'm outside it can like curb the wind so i'm gonna get both just so i can have a few different mic options um to help control sound so yeah, that's going to be the fix um, for my audio issues with the Canon G7X and I will let you know how everything works once I get it. Ow! Hey guys, Angela here and happy Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Um, I just ran to Trader Joe's because I had no food and I just, I could not last on eggs alone anymore. So I had to go run and grab food. Sorry for the crunch. Okay, so while I was out getting food from Trader Joe's, my package from Free People came in. <clears throat> so I ended up ordering the uh, a Goldie crisscross jeans from Free People. So they just came in today. Y'all know how bad I am at opening stuff. I can't even find the opening to this. Hold on. Okay, success. So anyway, I got the Agoldi crisscross jeans from Free People. So I just kind of wanted to unbag them here on camera. Unbag them. Unbox them. Unbag them because it came in a bag. Here on camera my apartment is a mess so we'll just add that to it well that didn't work we'll just add that to the mess 
So these are um, the a Goldie crisscross jeans. They're in the colorway Suburbia. Um, I'm gonna try these on because the waist does sort of look big. I ended up getting a 29. So I typically wear anywhere between a 27 and a 28, depending on the brand, but I'll get a 29 or even sometimes a 30 if I want the jeans to fit a little more baggy. Um, well, a lot more baggy actually. So I ended up getting a 29, even though they said that they run big. So let's see if that was a mistake. I'll be back. Okay, so I had to take off my sweater and rig my undershirt so that you could get the full effect of the thing. So I am so happy that I went with my first mind and that when they say they run big, they don't mean for my black ass because this is a 29 and look how snug it fits on my waist. I mean, I have a little bit of room back here, which is fine. It's just a small gap, but these fit great now i'm sure they'll probably stretch out a little bit but like this 29 fits too good for them to be saying that these run big because they do not but i love them i already love them better than my dupe pair that i got um from collusion by um, asos listen one thing i say is that you'll never regret a splurge like the collusion jeans look great but these just look so much better oh my god i may have to go ahead and splurge for the black ones too don't tell nobody though like this is this is it i cannot wait to wear these oh i got chips in my chips everywhere i cannot wait to wear these in summertime with like little shirts like this because this is a vibe you did good girl good morning so it's thursday um, I am, I have, I'm, look, I'm on to a late start. It's 926. My workout ran a little late. Um, my shower went long. I just finished my new 50 million step skincare routine. I haven't even filled my brows in. Um, basically I need to hurry up so I can start working. I have a lot to do, but before I got to work, I wanted to share a couple things with y'all that I got, um, in the mail last night slash picked it up from downstairs this morning the uh glossier milky jelly cleanser finally came in how does the how do how do you do this yeah um i used it this morning i love the texture this and the la roche posay are both like a milky gel type cleanser neither of them lather which is fine with me i actually really like that and so on first use i absolutely liked it so this is actually going to be the cleanser that i use in the morning and then i'll use the la roche posay at night so i'm happily happily i'm happy that it's finally here to incorporate into the routine i'm actually going to do a full review of all of the products i bought um for next week's video so i wanted to give it a couple weeks before i did it so next sunday's video will be a review of all the products so yeah got that today and then so i've mentioned this brand in multiple videos that i've done um so far since i've been on youtube and it's because i absolutely love it it's a um intimates brand it's called guilty intimates it's a black owned brand and i just love their stuff they have four styles of bras i'm sorry they have three styles of bras and they have a t-shirt and i have two of the bras that i purchased myself because i just love them and then i had planned on going back to buy the third style and the t-shirt because y'all know i love t-shirts and because my little small and i'm saying very small i have a very small instagram community but because they are so supportive and literally every time i posted myself in the bra they was at they were asking about it you know i was i would at guilty intimates and say hey it's this they would literally go buy it and so she noticed that and was like you know what you are literally like an unofficial spokesperson and i'm gonna send you something as my appreciation so she sent me the third bra that I do not have as a gift. And I mean, it's just so exciting. I was just so excited to like get a gift from someone. It's like just a genuine gift. We aren't working together. We aren't partner partnering together. This isn't an influencer thing. She just literally sent me a gift to show her appreciation. And I appreciate that. So I have a plan to play, pay it forward that I'll tell y'all about after we get into this bra. I'm so excited. <laughs> open, open. Okay, so this is the packaging. I love the packaging. It's just so clean and sleek and chic. And so I just love it. I don't, I think, don't be rude. 
I think I have um, the two other boxes like this because I thought they were super cute. So I'm gonna keep this one too. So the bra comes in this package. So this is the style bra that I didn't have. It is, uh, it doesn't have a wire in it. It's just like a lace wireless bra, which I absolutely love. These are actually my favorite types of bras to wear. And then it has just like this thick band. So this is gonna be just cute as like underwear, but also cute to wear in a shirt opened as a part of an outfit. Let me look up the name of this style really quickly. Um, I'm on the site right now, that's a shame. <laughs> So yeah, that is the Compel style and that one goes for $45. So the bras range between $45 to $55. This style is uh, $45. I'm so excited to get that. And then she also sent me their t-shirt, which I'm excited. I ordered it in medium because duh, I wanted it to be oversized. Y'all know me. Well, I didn't order it in medium. I asked. When she asked my size, I said medium. Um, so she said that as well. And it's just like a great quality t-shirt. It's a little sheer, so it's gonna be super sexy, even with this bra under it, like peeking from under it, really cute. So this is pretty much, you might as well say with like tax and shipping, this would be a $100 purchase and she gifted this to me and I am just so appreciative uh, for that. So I am going to be doing, did the camera just move? It just did something weird. I don't know, I look like I'm a different color now. Anyway, I am going to be doing a giveaway. So I am actually going to, I reached out to thank her for the gift, but I also asked if she provided gift cards. If not, I'll figure out a way to get um, the winners their things. It's going to be a Guilty Intimates focused giveaway, right? Because I want more people to get familiar with her brand because I absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is buy two $55 gift cards to give away um, to two winners. I'm going to give it away on Christmas. Um, for people to use on the site. If not, I'll choose the winners and then they'll choose the bra and I'll go on and purchase the bras for them and have them shipped um, to the winner. So I'll do it like that. I am doing this um, also as an initiative to try to grow uh, my following, of course. So the rules to win the, the giveaway um, are going to be focused on growth, of course. So I am going to put some rules in place uh, where people have to follow me on Instagram and or YouTube. I don't know yet, I haven't um, come up with it just yet and then also remember those essential leggings that i was telling y'all about that i bought that were just way too big well i bought two pair so i have two pair and i also mentioned that i'm not a huge fan of like sending stuff back i could send it back and get my 80 dollars uh, at least for the pair that i haven't worn because the one pair i wear all the time around the house i don't care about my my legging sagging in the house but the other pair is brand new. First, I was just gonna give it to my little sister and you know, whatever. But then I was like, this could be a part of the giveaway. So there are actually going to be four winners because I am going to give away that second pair of essential tights to someone that can actually fit the medium. So I'm excited. Hopefully, you know, this will bring some holiday, holiday cheer to people and it'll bring a little bit more attention to um, Urban Housewife as well. Um, so yeah, y'all, I have to get to work. I have to get to work. I just had to share that with y'all because I was so excited to have been gifted something from uh, a brand that I absolutely love and shop at anyway. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey guys, so it is much later in the day. It's 425. I need to put some chapstick on. That's terrible. <laughs> I need to get used to looking into the camera and not into the viewfinder. Okay, now I'm ready to talk to y'all. So it's later in the day, as I was saying, it's 426. I'm about to wrap up work because I have just lost my focus. Um, I like was trucking along, I was doing so well. I actually worked right through lunch, so I'm starving. So I'm going to just make some chicken and potatoes and broccoli and eat that really quickly and lay down. I am so sore. I've been doing sprints for the last two days, three days, two days with my friend. She's um, going to be in a fitness competition in about two weeks. And so she is leaning out and I've been like running sprints with her and I am, oh, I'm in pain right now. Anyway. Um, 
I did get one of the, I ended up ordering this and the um, mini road mic. So that'll be here tomorrow. Um, I'm going to actually plug this in and see how it works. Just like test it out because I'm too thirsty to wait. Um, so we'll test this today. We'll test the mini road mic tomorrow and we'll see how that actually works with um, sound. I'm excited. $30 for this little thing. $35 actually. Maybe that's a deal. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a taking person. Anyway, okay, let's open it and test it out. I hope you can see it enough because it's kind of dark in my kitchen. I like when it's dark and gloomy like this in my kitchen for whatever reason. I'm a dark and gloomy person. <laughs> Just kidding. I am not. Okay, so it comes in this little pouch. Here you have the adapter to um, stick into your phone. I actually am going to have to use... Hold on. Now wait, this might not work. I may have to look at the um, YouTube instructions again because I thought I could use my little iPhone adapter. You know how we get those adapters because they put that dumb um, charging port in the iPhones that don't that aren't compatible with anything else. So yeah, my understanding is I can actually use that to stick oh i got an extra little this thingy whatever you call that so supposedly y'all i am confusion i am confusion i don't know where i got that from somewhere off the internet but i love saying i am confusion so i'll just have that type to my tape to my shirt which i don't really like that i don't want to walk around with it on my shirt but like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do okay i'm going to run and find my little iphone adapter and see if it fits because this look a little big i don't know if this is gonna fit hold on i'm back okay yeah so this little iphone thingy i was talking about so let me just stick that in there <laughs> it fits i checked before i got back let me be just completely honest so then I'm going to plug this into my phone. And then I am the worst demonstrator. I'll get I'll get better. I'll get better. Um so how do you cut the mic on though? Maybe I should read the instructions. Fold the plug the microphone into your iPhone, smartphone, iPad, and start recording your speech with uh the video audio app. With the audio. Oh, so I can't just use look. I I thought I was just going to use the um, voice memo. Am I not going to just be able to use my voice memo? Okay guys, I'm back. <laughs> I think I figured this out, I don't know. So anyway, I am talking into the mic now and recording in the voice memos on my phone and hopefully the audio syncs really well. Let me show you my face. So anyway, also, so also my Instagram giveaway for Guilty Intimates and the Essentials giveaway has gone live. It's on my Instagram right now. Um, there are four rules in place. The only four rules is that you have to be following both me and Guilty Intimates on Instagram. I didn't want to do too much like follow. This isn't a like uh, um, giveaway loop. I didn't want it to look like that. So literally you just need to be following me um, and Guilty Int Intimates on Instagram. But you also have to share the post so that other people can see it and try to participate in it. So share it on your stories. Um, and then also leave a comment and say which bra you would choose or if you're gonna choose the essential tights over the bra, why are you choosing the tights instead? Um, I am going to go and I'm going to check the shared um, button and I'm going to go and check um, the comments to make sure that you followed all of the rules and then I'm just going to do like a random selector to choose who wins. I've done one other giveaway before through my podcast though. I ordered a rug from, um, where did I order that damn rug from? I ordered a rug from um, one of those, one of those furniture places, um, Overstock. Overstock. I ordered a rug from Overstock. It never came. They sent me another one. And then like a month later, the one that I originally ordered came. So they were like, keep it sis I'm like well I don't need it so I ended up doing a giveaway and I just used a random selector and got the um, area rug sent out it was a pretty big area rug too so I like doing giveaways um, and hopefully as I grow and people keep blessing me with things I can pay it forward and bless other people so that's that's my goal with like doing giveaways it's like 
If somebody is giving me something for free, I'm giving somebody else something for free. That's just how that's just how I'm going to going to operate in this thing. So anyway, I am going to, as I said, wrap wrap up work because I'm just disconnected. I'm going to make something to eat, probably some chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs. Thighs are my favorite. <laughs> probably some chicken thighs, some potatoes, some broccoli. And then I'm going to lay around and do nothing because I deserve. I deserve to do nothing. Anyway, OK, I'll talk to you all sometime this week. Bye. For short fall, this is about $25 million. So it's nowhere near enough, but. Angela here. Let's pause the pause the podcast. Welcome back to the vlog. Not welcome back to the vlog. What is this? Happy Saturday. I am preparing to go to the gym. Um, and that's pretty much all I have planned for today. I actually did decide that I was going to participate in Vlogmas just as the way to maybe like garner some attention to the uh, channel. So I'm going to do an abbreviated version though. I'm going to do 12 days of Vlogmas or like 12 days of Christmas, whichever you want to call it. Maybe Vlogmas because that may be a better keyword if you know what I mean. Um, so I was going to film two of the videos I planned today and then two tomorrow, but it's cloudy today. It's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow. So I don't know, a couple of them are sit down videos. The lighting looks fine here. So maybe I will be able to do um, a couple of the sit down videos that I have planned, but I will be posting a video every day from the 13th to the 24th. And I have some good stuff. Like I don't have just like a bunch of vlogs, which I love to watch, but I really am going to do some, some good videos. So let's see, I can tell you some of the stuff that I have really quickly. I am going to be doing, you know how Vogue has like the 73 questions? Well, I'm only going to be doing 21. Um, I asked the people on my Instagram to ask me some questions and I got 21 really good questions. So I'm going to answer that. I want to do it sort of like a la Vogue style, but it's just me. So that's going to be hard. So anyway, 21 questions. Um, I'm going to be doing money diaries, but like the ghetto version. So it's going to be the Angela version of, <laughs> of money diaries, but it's just going to be like a real chat about money and lifestyle. Um, I'm also going to be doing both a get ready with me. So morning skincare routine full and um, just like everyday basic makeup and then go to bed with me. And that's going to be the nighttime routine. I'm also going to actually do a products review of all of that's going to be a separate video um, of all of the new products that I bought um, for my skincare routine. So that's going to be a separate video. So you'll get to get a review of the products and then you will also get to see me actually use the products in separate videos, both at day and night. I'm going to try to recreate the fashion challenge by Netta Porter, but obviously, you know, it'll be a version of it. It won't be just like that. And then I'm gonna do a cook with me. So we're gonna have Sunday dinner. I think I'm gonna film that one tomorrow night. And then I'm going to do a everything I eat in a day. So what I eat in a day video. There is going to be a really juicy story time video. I am talking about getting expelled from the first school that I went to. I spent three years at a university before I transferred to the university that I actually graduated from. I got expelled. I denounced my sorority. It's a whole thing. So I'm going to do a story time on that. And then I'm going to have the weekly vlogs as scheduled. And then I'm going to have a blooper reel of all of the mistakes I make while trying to film all of these videos in two weeks time. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hilarious because I crack myself up just watching the like stuff that I cut out when I'm editing videos. So I thought that would be really cute to wrap it up. Anyway, so that's my plan. Um, hopefully the lighting allows me to do so. Um, let me get ready and go to the gym. I need to put on some clothes and get out of here. And I need some coffee, but I'll wait until after the gym. Talk to y'all later. Hey guys, it is Sunday, September, September. Y'all, it is not September. It is December 6th. I just got back in from Trader Joe's. Y'all know the drill. I'm actually here to close out the vlog for this week. Um, I am 
smack dab in the middle of editing two videos that I uh, filmed yesterday for Vlogmas and I'm going to do a cook with me. I was going to do another video today but I'm sort of tired so I'll do that during the week. I was trying to keep filming to the weekends but I'm too tired so I'll film that one sometime this week but yeah so I'm smack dab in the middle of editing those two videos I'm going to do a cook with me tonight and then cook dinner with me so it's a Sunday dinner video and then I'm going to lay around and rest because I'm sort of tired so anyway y'all know the drill I'm going to show you a few things that I got from Trader Joe's and then I'm going to head out for the week so for some reason this week I have sandwiches on the brain so I bought a bunch of stuff this week in the grocery store um, to have sandwiches <laughs> but anyway uh, one of the things that I got was this um, Tuscan bread um, I typically get like ciabatta or I will get sourdough mainly sourdough but I went ahead and got this just to see how it, it tastes. So we'll try it. Hopefully I like it because this is a lot of bread to not like. And then I also got some of this Herbe de Provence um, olive oil to like sprinkle on the sandwiches. Because I got like some um, avocados and tomatoes and red onions. And sometimes that's all I want on my sandwich. Sometimes I just want a veggie sandwich. So I thought this would be good on the veggie sandwich. I also, this isn't new to me, but I haven't bought it in so long. My hands are so ashy. Oh my God. Um, I haven't bought it in so long because I haven't been in a sandwich mood in so long. But veggie sandwiches with um, this Trader Joe's aioli garlic mustard sauce is really good. So I got that for my um, veggie sandwiches. Maybe I'll come on and show you one day in next week's vlog how I make that. And then I did get this which is new and this is some um, bulgogi beef. I guess that's how you pronounce it uh fried rice with kimchi so i'm gonna have this for dinner one night i love kimchi like love it i haven't had it in a long time you know how you eat something so much you have to make yourself like not eat it that's where i'm at with kimchi but i love kimchi so i'm gonna taste that and then the last thing i got was this everything but the bagel seasoned smoked salmon i'm going to make like my own little poke bowl um for dinner a couple nights this week so just like some jasmine rice some avocado some arugula some of this little salmon um sprinkle some or squeeze some lemon on it and then that'll be dinner so yeah that is the new or haven't had in a very long time haul from Trader Joe's. Oh, I did grab this at checkout because I always do. It's a little chocolate bar. It's dark chocolate and it's filled with that cookie butter that they have. I'm about to this up. You hear me? I am about to this up. Anyway, pick y'all back up here. That's what I got from Trader Joe's. The camera is kind of wonky on this thing, but whatever. We're wrapping it up anyway. I will talk to y'all in next week's vlog. Bye.